Hello friends, this PHP CRUD application with React framework and under this part. We will fetch data from MySQL table and display under React application in table format. In previous part, we have already learned how to install React framework in our computer. If you have not seen that part, so we have put that video link under this video description. Now we have proceed to make CRUD application by using React with PHP API. So first, we want to use Bootstrap library under this React application, so we have goes to command prompt. And here, we have run this command, which will download and install Bootstrap library. Now we have goes to text editor, and first we have to open main.jsx file. And under this file, first we have to comment this code, which has been used, style sheet of this index.css. But we want to use bootstrap library, so we have open app.jsx file. And under this file, we have comment, this three line of code, which is not required. And now, for import bootstrap library, so here we have to write. Import statement with, part of the bootstrap library, so this code will use bootstrap library. Which we have download, under node module, which we can see in here. After this, we have goes to app function, and under this, we have remove all this code. And after this, we have write, return statement, which is body of this app component. Now under this, we have to write HTML code like, division tag, with class name is equal to container. So here in React framework, we have to use class name attribute, in place of this class attribute. And here, we have used bootstrap 5 library container class, and after this. Below it, we have create header 1 tag, with class name attribute is equal to. Bootstrap library margin top 5, margin bottom 5, and text center class. And between this, we have write, title like php react js crud application. Now for check this output in browser, so we have goes to command prompt. And run this command, which will start server, and provide us base URL of our, React application. Now here in browser, we have opened this URL, and here, we can see, title of our React application. Now below this, we want to display, sample user data, which will fetch from MySQL database. So for this, we have to create user list component, and set that component route, in app.jsx file. So here, we have create, component directory, under this src directory. And under this directory, we have to create, user list.jsx file, so here, we have create user list component. Now we have open, user list file, and under this file, we have to import React. So here, we have to write, import React from React. So this line is used to add, necessary dependencies from the React library. After this, we have to create a React functional component, with named user list. And under this, we have to write, return statement, which is the body of this, user list component. Under this we have to write, HTML code like division tag, with class name is equal to card. And under this tag, we have to write, division tag, with class name is equal to, card header. And in card title, we have to write user data, so here our card header is ready. After this, for card body, here we have to create, one division tag with class name is equal to card body. Now under this, we want to create one table for display user data. So here we have to write table tag with class name is equal to table and table bordered class. And under this, we have create one table head tag. And under this, we have create one table row tag.
and under this, we have create, four table header tag, with title like, first name, last name, email and action. Next, we have create on table body tag, and under this tag, we will display user data. So here our component function is ready, now we want to set, route of this component, under app.jsx file. So we have to export this component, so for this, here we have to write. Export default with component name user list, so by using this statement, we can import this component in, app.jsx file. Now we have goes to app.jsx file, and here first we want to import components, and utilities from the React Router DOM library. So for import this component, first we want to install, React Router DOM library. So we have goes to command prompt, and run following command. This command will download, React Router DOM library, under this our React application. So here, we have to write, import statement, and after this we have to write, open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write, component name like, browser router, route, routes and link. And after this, we have to write, from React Router DOM library, so here we have import component from this library. Here browser router component is represents, the router for your application. And it is the key component from React Router DOM, which provided routing functionality to React application. After this, routes component is typically used to define, collection of routes. Next route component is used to define, individual route in your application. And link component is used for creating hyperlink, that navigate to different parts of your application. So this all components of this React Router DOM library, we will use for set route of this CRUD application, under this app.jsx file. After this, we want to import user list component, which we have created earlier. So here we have to write, import statement, with component name user list. And after this, we have to write, path of user list component, so this way, we can import component. Now we have goes into app component function, and here we have to define, routing configuration. So here first we have to write, browser router component, which is used to wrap, our entire application, and set up the routing infrastructure, so this is the top level component of, React Router DOM library. Under this, we have to write, routes component, and this component is used to define, the collection of routes, in our application. And under this, we have to write, route component, which is used to define, a single route, in our application. And here we have to write, path attribute is equal to root, and this attribute is used to define, URL path for the route. And after this, we have to write, element attribute is equal to, open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write, user list component, so it will render the user list component, when the route is active. So this code will check, when we have navigate, our React application to, root URL. Then it will render, the home component, that means, it will display home component HTML code, on web page. So here, our routes has been set for user list component, and now we have goes to command prompt. And here, we have run this command, which will start server. Now we have goes to browser, and here we have opened this URL. So here on web page, we can see that, user list component, user table has been display, on web page. So in this video tutorial, we have learned, how to set route for fetch data. In next part, we will show you, how to fetch data from MySQL database, and display on web page. So we will be meet, in next part.